good morning, good morning, good morning. It is currently 4.26 a.m. Usually what time I get my day started. Took all the dogs out of the kennel, put these dogs in here. Let these run around for a bit. I go out in the front, clean the kennel, prepare all the food for the pups. Um, today is raw feeding day, so today is oats, rice, egg, pumpkin, liver, chicken leg quarters, the whole nine, the whole supplement. Today is the day, it's a raw feeding day for all the dogs. So what I'm gonna do is let them run around here, have a good time, that yard time. They in the playpen. And then I will come back here and grab every individual dog one by one, put them inside their kennel where the raw food would already be prepared and, and situated. So that should be done by 5 a.m. By 5 a.m. Our kennel should be clean. Breakfast should be prepared. You know what I'm saying? As usually how my morning starts. We're gonna try to continue to do this every single morning. We start at 4 a.m. We start at 4 a.m. Day starts at 4 a.m. Alright y'all, catch you guys when the, by the time uh, the dogs get done eating, the sun should be up a little bit and we can, um, you guys can get a better view of what's going on. Roxy is putting all the dogs in place, in their place, correcting them, you know, she don't do a lot of playing, so she's a good, uh, she's a good role model to have around as far as dogs not doing too much. Um, winter stop. You know what I'm saying? So she's gonna, uh, she definitely be keeping that in place. Duke is being Duke. Everybody know what Duke is on. Um, Duke trying to hunt. That's just what Duke does. He's a power stud. He's a super stud. Whenever you think about stud, you want dogs just gonna hit. You ain't gotta worry about them hitting. And, uh, what you see in my yard, you really ain't got to worry about them hitting. Duke going to be a great, great, great stud. Power producer. He's going to be a power producer. I'm very excited to see that. Okay. You just... You got to know what you got, man. All puppies ain't like that. I'll tell you that right now. That dude is very, very, very rare. When you think of how consistent he is, how clean he is, how beautiful he is. Now he don't care, he humped everything. As far as Stacy right there, the raffle girl, the raffles are still filling up. It's not closed yet, it won't close until slots are filled. If the slots aren't filled up by Christmas Eve, I will be closing the raffle and be doing refunds. So if the slots aren't filled by Christmas Eve, I will be closing the raffle and I will be uh, giving out refunds. I try to get this stuff done, I don't wanna hold on to nobody money because it's bigger than them, trying to get back to the people that support me, so make sure you guys get some raffle tickets. It's 4 a.m., y'all. 4 a.m. Everybody else still dreaming right now. Y'all living your best life right now in your dreams. Ain't nothing wrong with dreaming, man. You gotta see it first. You can see it, you can dream it, it can happen. If you ever dream of something, man, it can't happen. Good or bad, take all your dreams into consideration. We just hit my first year, completed. One year completed. I got puppies on the ground. I got productions that got productions on the ground. We're just continuing to work, man. I had dogs hitting their second heat within a year and getting bred before they're a year old. It's not my, I don't suggest people do that, but it, it has happened. But, it, you know, 
Um, I got production that's been hit on first heats. That has happened. Um, I don't do that in my account, but it has happened. Also, the chicken, uh, the junior attacked two out of three chickens. One chicken died not too long after the attack. This chicken is still pushing, still kicking around. It didn't go in the house last night, so um, I'm sure it ain't going to survive too long. Anytime a chicken stop going in this house when the sun go down, it's pretty much um, it's pretty much done, man. Uh, injuries are probably just too much, man. Injuries is just probably too much. Um, I think he made a, I think Junior made a broke the beak. So it's not eating properly. Hey! All these ropes around right here, y'all want to tug on, tug on the stuff I need. Duke, I'm so, I'm so excited to watch Duke grow. All right, guys, let me, um, Let me get back to cleaning. Okay, this has been probably like 30 minutes. So, well, you can't really see everything that's in it, but that's brown rice, um, pumpkin, oats. Um, tuna fish. Um, dime. Hip and joint uh, tablets. Um, it's so early, I ain't watch my face yet. Or back on TV. So we just got all that and all the kennels. You know what I'm and every, every last one got it. It's early, y'all. No, a lot of y'all still knocked out right now. By the time y'all wake up, this video is going to be uploaded. And, uh, y'all have something to watch. So, Watch it, no, it smells like her food. Talking about everything. No side with the Frenchies. If your French bulldog don't move, don't jump around and all that, you got the wrong type of dog, my boy. These are real French bulldogs. That's how real French Bulldogs move. They really move. Chicken, got a couple chickens still alive. One still fighting it. One didn't go in the house last night, as I mentioned. So I don't know if it's gonna survive, but I got some fresh food out there and some water. She over duking me. This girl, man, I thought she was gonna, thought she was gonna be pregnant, y'all, but she don't look pregnant at all. She don't look like she uh, had a puppy in, in three weeks. But I don't know, I never had a French boy dog pregnant before or nothing like that. So I don't know, we'll see. You see that dookie on their butt? Like, you literally gotta wipe their butt all the time. She just dookied over there. And look, you can see dookie on her butt. The only thing about the French is, man. I like Margo, and I'm gonna call this girl TT. TT! So I'm gonna call her over here TT. 
she's gonna be a good TT. So I like TT and Margo a little bit better. They more compact. She's a little bit longer. You know, she has a longer body. But as you guys know, longer bodies produce more puppies. You get know what I'm saying? Like TT and Margo might have a, you know, four puppy, five puppy with her. You know, I don't really know. But this girl could push out seven, eight, and two or three puppies is a huge difference. Two or three puppies is a huge difference as far as money and all that type of stuff. So, just be mindful. The chicken's still kicking, man. Phew. After they poop, they clean up by themselves. <laughs> so funny. This girl right here, she kind of mean. You can tell she's just alpha, or she don't do too much playing. Maybe she's pregnant though. Maybe that's why she's not doing it. Maybe she did take, and I don't know. Mm -hmm. It's just these girls bigger than, bigger than her. And she's supposed to be pregnant, so I don't know. Today I gotta go to Trust Supply Company and grab more dog food, more and more dog food for the Frenchies. She's hard for the Frenchies and uh, for the bigger dogs. I'm down to my last bag. I haven't even opened my last bag yet, so I still got more dog food left in the other bag, but I haven't even opened the last bag. So whenever I get to where it's only one bag left, it's time to go, you know what I'm saying? Whenever you get to the point where it's only one bag of dog food, it's time to go to the store. Cause I don't know about y'all, but uh, one bag of dog food might last me a day day and a half, two days. No more than two or three days. No more than three days. Look, she stayed throwing up, y'all. I don't know. Maybe she did, ooh, maybe she did take, she threw up earlier. She's not trying to eat enough for her. Yeah, maybe she did take y'all. So she took. We have Frenchies in three weeks. I took her to the new Shade Isabel. You know what I'm saying? You gotta know what's going on. New Shade, Platinum, Isabel. So she gets some very, very, very vibrant colors out of her. As you guys know, the structure is already there. The head is already there. So we should get some really nice color. And all my dogs very healthy. As you guys see, my French Bulldogs, they breathing good. You ain't hearing too much snoring. It's a little slight, but it, they haven't been overbred. When they all tore up and can't breathe good, these dogs can breathe good. Real French Bulldogs. Which her uh, teacher is. You know, the Murr got some other stuff added to it, man. We're gonna call her Cookie, man. She likes Cookie or she. So we got Cookie, Margo, and Titi. Just name them. Yeah, y'all. Yeah, she is going off the crazy by herself. Y'all, she don't even want to go back outside. Yo, I clean her butt. Um, she don't want. She don't even want to go back in the garage, y'all. I got it out. I open the door for her to go back in there. I put food and all that type of stuff in the kennels and all that. She ain't trying to go in the house at all. Like, I mean, she's not trying to go in the kennel at all. She's trying to be in the house all the time. So maybe she did take y'all. Uh, she took, that's gonna be, ooh, that's gonna be a good Christmas present, y'all, for me. This gonna be a great Christmas present for me if she took. Thank <laughs> you.
Fotos wirft. Clean your face, y'all. I gotta clean these dogs up, man. Alright, we're gonna watch these dogs today, man. I think it's gonna get up to like 75, 76 today, so it's gonna be a good day to, to go and wash them up. So I think today we're gonna do the, French, the Frenchies, wash up the Frenchies, um, and probably the puppies. The Frenchies and the puppies today, and then tomorrow I'll do the bigger dogs. Or I might just get really, really motivated and do them all. And do them all uh, today. I literally go off how I feel when it comes down to doing certain things so I can do a good job. Like if I feel like doing, I'm in a good mood to do it, then I try to do it. That way I do a great, great job at what I'm doing. And as far as taking care of these dogs, though, that's every single day, no matter how I feel. I gotta get up and make sure that the area is clean, that they got fresh water, and that they got food, man. It's just every single day, y'all. Uh, like, um, you know how, like, some days y'all get up and be like, I ain't going to work today. I ain't doing nothing today. Even on days like that where I feel that same way that y'all feel, I still got to go outside and clean up, pick up poop. Still got to make sure they got water. Still got to make sure I feed them. Still got to make sure I let them out. If I don't let them out, they're going to get angry. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not even going to say angry. They just going to have so much built up energy that it looks like anger. And they're gonna be grabbing each other and irritated and all that type of stuff. You see how quiet they are, because they've been outside, they've been working out, they've been running and stuff in the fields, they've been running in the backyard, playing around, they've been in the play pen, running around. Now they went in there at eight, now they finna go to sleep. Just like these, though. They've been in the kennel all night. And now they get to be outside. They get the whole backyard. They get to roam around. They get to play around. Today's yard day. French boys all backyard day. You know what I'm saying? Today day to just be free and of worry and of anything. Just no kennel, no no wire. Nap under, you know what I'm saying? They can nap anywhere they want to. Just like now it's their day, man. Get them a good washed up, good old bath. Um, that's how we're gonna do it, man. Everybody have a great day, man. Make sure you get up and do something. Make sure you meditate. You gotta be out here meditating, man. I don't care what you got going on, but you need to meditate. And meditating is different, but you know. I understand it's different, but it's different ways to meditate. There's different forms of meditation. Get to it, man. Talk to yourself. Have them conversation with yourself. If you feel like you ain't doing enough, then you're not doing enough. If you ain't exhausted every single day, then you're not working hard enough. Find you a schedule and get to it. Find you a schedule and get to it. Margo, see that's why I be able to put Margo up. Margo disturbed the chickens. So this is what Junior did yesterday, or a couple days ago. He ran around the cage a couple times. They got to jumping around and da da da, and then jumped out of the coop and opened the door up and jumped out of the coop. And then that's when Junior got two of them. Well, one of them, the other one's still alive. See, I'm not really worried about the Frenchies. Cause they literally can't get in there. All right, y'all. Catch you guys uh, later today, man. Can we please, 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 please get my videos to 100 likes. If you haven't went through my videos and you watched them and you liked the video, Actually hit the like button. It helps my channel out. We could be growing so much faster. I could be doing so much more if you guys help me out. I can do more videos if you guys help me out. I will be able to make more money. So that means I can make do more givebacks. Just a lot of stuff, man. Help me out by hitting the like button. You got to hit the like button. A lot of y'all watch my videos every single day. You're not hitting the like button. It tells me 
that 97% of the people that watch my videos are not hitting the like button. I upload every single day for y'all. Come on, help me out now. Make sure you guys comment. Leave comments. Put your comment down and tell me what you think of the video. Tell me what you like to see. You know what I'm saying? Tell me thank you for, for upload. Ooh, I clean up, bud. Ah. Yeah, let me know, man. <coughs> I need y'all help, man. I'm grinding every day for y'all. Also, did you not guys know I have another channel where everything outside of my dogs will be uploaded to that channel. And as far as music videos, vlogs, when I'm not doing the dog stuff, um, just a bunch of different things, man. Family videos. A lot of that videos will be on my other channel, man. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that subscribe button, man. It is free. If you're interested in dogs, I have dogs available. Let me know what you guys need. Oh, I like how small these girls are, man. This is perfect. Perfect, man. You got an apartment, any type of shit going on. Small space. But you a Frenchie, man. It's just smooth. They play, too. I don't think it's just... Dogs just gonna be sitting around. No, these dogs play too, but they chill. They're good dogs, man. And they don't bark a lot. 